A good video is like a fine dish. It is a combination of good materials, tasty spices, and a touch of love. Only when you have all of these spices in place, you can say, yeah, I have a good video to share. So today I'm gonna to talk about some of these amazing spices, which are the effects. The idea came to me the other day when I was working on a project and I suddenly realized among all the amazing premiere effects, I'm just using a select few. Yes, I always try to experiment with new things. That's how I found my favorite ones. But there's always a list of usual suspects that always pop up. So I thought it would be a good idea to share some of my favorite ones with you. Let's see what I got. Okay, first on the list is Gush and Blair under Blair and Sharpen. The Gush actually comes from the world of mathematics and statistics. In layman's terms, it means the normal and natural distribution of a stuff. Our stuff here are Blairian stuff, so Blair is distributed naturally. Anyway, you can see dragging and dropping the effect on our footage is the first step. Then, by going to effects control, we can modify the effect. For example, I'm going to create a mask here to specify the part I want to blur out because a completely blurred out footage is weird in this instance. Cool ways to use full screen Gaussian blur may include using it for fading in and fading out at the beginning or end of the video, or maybe trying to give the impression of waking up from a dream. In those instances, you can keyframe the blur between 15 to 0 based on the situation. But I digress, where was I? Oh yes, the mask. Okay, as you can see, it is really easy to work with this mask of blurriness. I can keyframe it to follow the subject around or change the feather or blurriness. All the cool stuff, get creative with it and tweak it to your taste. Make it your own. While we are here, let's talk about other blurry stuff. The one I chose is actually opposite of blurry. Unsharp mask is almost like sharpen but more intelligent. When you apply sharpen, it will sharpen the whole image in a dummy way. But unsharp mask tries its best to keep the out of focus sections untouched and just sharpen the in focus subject. It is not perfect, but it makes a difference. Invert is an effect that is easy to understand. Adding invert to your footage will give you the option to invert different aspects of your video like color or light. The next effect is a lifesaver for the times when you do not have access to a tripod to stabilize your camera. Unless you're trying to convey some sort of an atmosphere, shaky video is never cool. So your best friend here is going to be a warp stabilizer to get rid of all the shakiness. This effect can do wonders, but you have to keep in mind that since the main way it works is to zoom in on the footage, it is highly recommended that you have a high quality video in order to mitigate any blurriness. Now let's do a whimsical one. Four color gradient is an effect that can generate many different atmospheres for a single footage. Changing these colors to any combination can tell a different story in any instance. Changing the blending mode can also be helpful for a better conveying of the feeling. For example, choosing a screen and going with blue will make a cold and maybe mysterious atmosphere while going with orange is a full-on summer party. Now that we have talked about making the footage more colorful, let's talk about the other end of the spectrum. What I'm talking about is the black and white effect. We all know how cool black and white videos are. Especially since Premiere has made it extremely easy to make them, just drag and drop the effect onto your footage and boom, we are chapping now. Okay, next we are going to talk about another effect that is a great tool for both beginners and professionals. Ultra key is the effect that can really help you merge two footages easy peasy. The best and most optimal way of using ultra key is to have a green screen. As you can see in this video, there is a huge green screen behind the subject. Now, all I have to do is put this footage on top of the other one and fill in the green parts. Add ultra key, choose the green color, and done. Of course, you can do this with any color presenting the footage, but as you can see, it may turn into a mess. Yes, I can mask some parts out, but those edges and shadows, hmm, they are really painful. It is best to always keep keying in mind when shooting because trying to do it afterwards can turn into a huge pain. Okay, the next one is noise. 
generally you want to get rid of it, but sometimes it is really cool to add some noise to your footage. Maybe you want to make the footage look old, or in my case, I have used noise for memory sequences, especially the ones that are fuzzy. Drop shadow is the other effect that I believe can be helpful for the times you want something to pop in the footage. For example, here I have a text. It looks terrible like this, but the moment I add drop shadow, it becomes a piece of art. You can work on angles and distance and other stuff in order to make the shadow look more natural to the eye. Yeah, that looks much better. Okay, let's have fun one more time. This effect is really trippy and fun, but it is really sorcery. So try to add it first and get a pre-render. Then go on to do all your other tweakings. But man, this looks great. You can set the delay time here and add or remove the number of echoes. Using this effect at the right time can make it really influence the viewers. So be careful how you use it. The next effect is crop. Yes, crop. It may sound a bit weird to consider crop as an effect, but that is exactly the point. Crop is like a wrench in your toolbox. You never think highly of it, but it is such a useful tool that your work will be hellish without it. One of the most useful ways that crop can be helpful is to create transitions. For example, in here, I'm going to keyframe this footage at the beginning and the end. On the end keyframes, I will change these values to 50 and done. Simple but elegant. I like it. Now let's talk about an easy effect, horizontal and vertical flip. They are as simple as it gets, just add them to the footage and flip. They don't even have any settings to tweak. Flipping easy. The other set of effects which are actually transitions are these three wipes. They are really easy to work with and that is what I really love about them. Simple and functional. My favorite one is the gradient one. It is amazing for closing a shot. Just adding it to the footage and keyframing it is all you need to do in order to get a great shot. I love it. Okay, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed today's video and learned something new. Please let me know down in the comments if there was any effect that was your favorite.